Hi, I'm here to talk to you about visual processing disability. I'll tell you what it is and what you can do about it. A visual processing disability is when your brain has trouble understanding what the eyes tell it. Your eyes could be perfect, but it's how your brain understands it that's the problem. For example, you could have problems in math and spelling because your brain might have trouble understanding numbers and letters. You also might have poor spelling and slow reading speed because it might be hard to visualize the words. Don't worry, there are things you can do to help you learn with a visual processing disability. You can make it easier to understand by only having one thing up on the board at a time. You can also explain to them in words instead of depending too much on visual information and images. Lastly, you can get text-to-speech software, which makes your computer read what's written. Text-to-speech software helps a student with visual processing difficulties because it reads the text so a student doesn't have to be completely dependent on what is seen. A person with visual processing difficulty often makes up for it by being a good listener. Also, if the student pays special attention to read the text while the computer is reading it aloud, it helps the student visualize the words and strengthens the connection between spoken and written language. Now I'm going to show you how to activate the text-to-speech software. If it's not already on Finder, you click on the desktop and it goes there. Then you click on the Apple and go down to System Preferences. From here you click on Speech and the thing that looks like a microphone. And if it's not already on Text-to-Speech, click on that. You can choose what voice uh, it reads it to you in. And be sure to click the spe uh, Speak Selected Text when the key is pressed. And see what keys you have to press. You hit set key, and see here it says shift command uh, command shift five, which you have to all hit together. Command is the apple, and if it's not already there, you can click inside the box and hit the buttons, and then it comes up for you. Then you hit OK, and here I'll show you an example of how it works. See, so yeah, I highlight the text, then you hit the keys. Then it reads it for you. Yeah, I think it speaks for itself. 